what do you think of pearl snares and what do you think of Zildjian cymbals and their, their qualities well, of and how course they I think they are both the best and I now have relationships with everybody and I'll tell you look at every major company that's been developing their product for years has great products especially like masterworks you can configure your own you can make your own wood configuration and the you know the research and the engineering that they do to be able to put the woods together and the bearing edges and this and that it all matters and it's really it's really deep stuff you know, because one little change makes a big change. And sometimes that's why um, when a drum company dials in the kind of drum that they make, it just that that's the drum they make and they sell the drum and they don't mess with it or change it. And you, it's consistent and you get used to that and then you buy that drum. Mm -hmm. uh, and and that's, that's what it is. And then they do that. But they have this extra option with their masterworks where... You know, I noticed doing all these drum clinics that maple was uh, was the kind of wood that projected the most mm -hmm. with some floors, and in other floors it did not. Mm -hmm. uh, with some floors, the maple four ply was the best sound I ever heard, and the same drum set on a on like a concrete, like on the actual the rug on the actual floor with the concrete underneath it, yeah. that didn't do the job for me. The mahogany did. And then the birch seem to work in every situation, mm -hmm. but have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And the woods do that. So you kind of have to know what your environment is. Um, but I think, you know, the floor that it's on is more important than the room that it's in. And there are plenty mm -hmm. of people that will disagree with me on that, but that's what my experience yielded for me. And if the floor resonates, well, then the metal and the wood resonates and the drum goes boom. Mm -hmm. And if the floor is hard as a rock, well, then the drum's gonna be hard as a rock and go dunk. So yeah, they're adaptable and, and the stuff's durable and the symbols, you know, they just keep, they last. And you know, the funny thing about the symbols and you hear mm -hmm. if a symbol breaks or doesn't break, it's like, now, I've had the same symbols. If, if, if it's a temperature controlled room, mm -hmm. five years, no breakages, all the hours I put in. Wow. No I mean, matter what, I'm telling you. Wow. I have the symbols in my studio. I don't change them. They don't break uh, with all the hitting I do. Mm -hmm. But what happens is, you put me in an, uh, an ice hockey arena, and the symbol's going to be brand new, and yeah. it's going to have a crack in it uh, by the end of that show, and it's going to show up three shows later. And then it's like, oh, the symbol cracked. And I'm like, well, oh, it's the symbol. No, it's that it was freezing cold. The temperature changes, cold, hot, cold, hot, becomes brittle, all that stuff. Mm. So there's nothing that's just a general, a general rule. And the companies listen. It's like, wow, what are we... In this condition, what do we do? Like, warm them up. <laughs>